Hey actors, it's Wendy Lane Wright, the Hollywood talent manager with more really critical advice to teach you how to get more acting jobs. Now, I wanted to talk to you right now about your acting skills. It is so important to have great acting skills and to really know how to be an actor. Okay, because if you put yourself in front of producers, directors, writers, and casting directors, and you're not good, and you don't know what you're doing, you just introduced yourself to them and said, hi, I'm someone you should not hire. They can make a little mental note of that and not call you in for anything ever. So you don't want to jump to these people until you're ready. And here's how you get ready, and here's why it's so important to get ready. When you're an actor, it is a very specific skill, okay, like a doctor, like a construction worker, like an astronaut, an engineer. You've got to learn how it works, okay? If you, when you're in front of a camera, let's say you want to be on television and you've never taken an on-camera class, you don't know how to work in front of a camera. You don't know how, when turning yourself to the right, how does that affect the lighting? How does that affect the editing? How does that affect the sound? How does that affect the overall look of that scene? It's important to know because if you're a stage actor, it's so much different than television acting. Okay, on stage you have it's really big and you have a lot of energy and, 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 and television is much smaller. It's a small screen and you, you do more subtle things and the work is very internal and it's not a big broadcast, you know, unless you're on like Glee or any of those over-the-top Nickelodeon kind of shows, right? Most television shows are very subtle. You saw that? A simple little move of the eye gesture, and you wondered what the heck I was looking at, didn't you? I didn't have to go, what is over there, right? It's just a, sim it's just a simple little look makes a big difference on where your attention goes, okay? You need to learn as an actor how to work with the camera. If you show up on the set and you don't know how to work with a camera, it's not likely they're going to hire you again anytime soon. Know what I'm saying? So you've, there's several things in order to be successful in this business, okay? One, learn your craft. Learn how to be an actor. Learn how to be a great actor. Number two, learn how the business works. And number three, get known in the industry. Okay, so let's, let's delve into that a little bit more. I always tell you it's important to know how the business works because if you don't know how the business works, you have no idea where you fit in in it. You have no idea how things work with each other. You know, what, does it, what is a gaffer? You, know, you don't know what's an electrician. You know, you don't know how sets work. You should learn what do producers need, what do directors need in order to have a successful production. What do, um, what's a production like? You know, how, what's the time crunch? How much money does this cost? What do agents want? What do managers want? What do casting directors look for? How can you be of service to these people? Because they all have a job to do and you're there to be of service to them, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me, you think that they're all there to be of service to you. You are so wrong, okay? They are not there to be of service to you. You are an actor, and that means you're replaceable. And they need actors who understand how the business works, how their jobs work, and who are going to show up and be of service to them. How to get those shots as quickly as possible so that their budgets stay low. There's, you, so I say read books and, um, and be of service. Go be an intern for a director or a producer or a production company or get a job as an assistant in any of those things. Learn how that business works. How do you think I figured out so much? I was an assistant for 10 years and I didn't just stay in one company for 10 years and just learn one thing. I moved the hell around. Okay, I was an assistant at Fox Television in the buying department of television shows. And that's where I learned that every single television show that you see on TV that goes into syndication it can be resold to countries all over the world. And that means those countries don't have to produce any of that content. They just go to a big seminar called the MIPCOM, which happens every year, and TV buyers from all over the world go there, and TV content owners like Fox Television, ABC, CBS, all the independent cable, co cable companies, they bring their shows that they've already got filmed that are in the can, and they sell them, they license them to be seen in those other countries. That's big money. Okay, but if you didn't work in a television office at Fox Television, you'd never have learned that. I went to go work at a record label at um, Virgin Records, back when the Spice Girls was the number one thing going on. And I learned a lot about A&R 
and getting films or songs on soundtracks and finding new artists and artists in repertoire, developing act artists and getting singers and artists out there and the whole process of that. That's something you don't know nothing about unless you worked in a record label. I went to work at a distribution company that distributes film. Once the film is done and it's in the can, how does it get to all those movie companies and how do they distribute it with the with their um their one the one sheets, the big posters, and all of the um, merchandising that goes along with the with the distri distribution. How, you don't know nothing about film distribution unless you worked in a film distribution company. Uh, I went to work at a public relations office, and I learned what happens to singers and actors and when they have a publicist to publicize all of their work. And I happened to get fortunate enough to go work for Michael Jackson's publicist, Lee, uh, Lee Strasberg. I'm sorry, Lee, um, Lee Salters, Barbara Streisand's publicist, Neil Diamond, Little Richie. Did I say Little Richie? I didn't mean no Little Richie. Michael, let me see. Barbara Streisand, Dolly Parton, Lionel Richie. That's who I meant. Um, and boy, let me tell you, if you've never worked in a public relations office, you don't know nothing about how the business works on the inside in terms of getting people to be aware that these people's work exists. Even the biggest stars have to constantly, constantly let everybody know they have a project out. That's why they're on Jay Leno and David Letterman and Jimmy Kimmel and all that other stuff. And they do those those circuits, they have to go out there and publicize the films. Just because you're a big star and have a big movie out doesn't mean people know you did nothing. Okay, and it's even worse for you if you're an unknown actor and nobody knows who you are. Holy cow, you got to work really hard to make sure people know. you got to get local press. you got to, like, if you just bought a dog, you contact all those dog magazines and you say you're an actor up and coming and you just bought a Doberman Pinscher and you found this really amazing trick that works with your dog to get him to sit and whatever, and you get publicity. It was amazing to me working in a public relations office how many angles you'd come up with to get one actor, one celebrity, press. Um, we'd have lists and lists of different kinds of magazines, horses, um, animals, cooking. It went on and on. Make a list of every single kind of magazine and then figure out something about you that's important that relates to that subject that's held, that's being covered in that magazine and submit some uh, some press articles some press ideas to them let them interview you okay it's so important the press oh my god in the marketing until you've worked as an assistant in a marketing company a press company you don't know nothing about that I went to work as an assistant at agency for the performing arts that is a huge agency talent agency um, and we represented only stars massive 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 stars and there they are on the phone with me every day calling to find out where their sides are and where the directions are to this and that and and helping them get everything they need and how does the agency interact with this with these actors how do the agents interact with each other what frustrates them what pisses them off what they require from a, from clients that they're not getting what clients they really are happy with and why you go work for an, a year in a talent agency you're gonna learn a lot of things I know I did um, I could go on and on about what I, I mean. I've worked for Whippy Goldberg's manager. I've worked for the managers of Steve Gutenberg. You know, I've worked at, at many, many different organizations in the entertainment business to learn what I've learned. I was a talent agent myself. After I was an assistant, you work up to an agent. And after being an agent, I became a manager. And I learned that I spent the last 20, and I was a singer and an actor too. So I have spent 25 years in this business in your shoes. And in the agency shoes, in the television network shoes, I know how this business works. And that's why I say I am doing what I'm meant to be doing. There is nothing I love more than helping new artists understand this business and get working in it. Okay? And nobody in this business who's a talent manager is telling you how it works like I am. And I'll tell you, a lot of talent managers, they do not have the experience that I have because they didn't do what I did. A lot of talent managers go to school for one thing or business or whatever they do and then they decide they're going to be a talent manager and they go right into management. And they understand management and so do I. But they don't understand everything I just talked to you about because they didn't spend 10 years doing that. Okay, so when I say I have a full 360 degree perspective about how this business works, I mean it. I do. And there's nobody in this business that you're going to learn more from. I am going to send you to all the right people 
who are teaching things that you need to know that I don't. I'm not Dallas Travers. She's an amazing marketing expert, okay? I know to send you to Dallas Travers because I'm a smart cookie. Once you get there, she's going to teach you all kinds of in, like outside thinking of how to market yourself and package yourself because she's a business marketing expert. You need one of those. I send you to Amy Jo Berman because she is the former head of casting for HBO and she knows about auditions and booking jobs and she's a great audition coach and she knows what casting directors want. She must have overseen 150 shows while she was there. So my friend Amy, I will be sending you to her. So you want to come to me, tell me what you need, and then I will tell you where to go and what to do. Which agencies should you go for? How do you meet casting directors? How do you meet producers? How do you get better at acting? What classes should you take? Who should you take your headshots with? That's what you want to ask me. And I will always guide you. Who's a good dialect coach? You know, uh, where do I get my headshots reprint reprinted? How do I know if my resume is any good? Is, should this go on my resume? Should this not go on my resume? Do I need a demo reel? Who do I shoot that demo reel with? Can you recommend? Yes, I can. And that's what I do because I love you. And come on, honestly, because actors are my favorite people in the face of the earth, actors and singers as a human, just as a person from me to you telling you the, the high, I love actors with all my heart and soul. And when I go see a movie, when I see a great movie coming out, I literally say, dear God, I hope I'm alive long enough to see that because acting and performances from actors and singers are the most important thing in my life. I love them. And I love you people for doing that amazing work. I love to sit in a movie and watch people experience emotions and feelings and y'all go make me cry. But I live for you people. I live for you people. I love you and I love what you give us. I love what you give me. And I love how hard you work to make your dreams come true in such a cutthroat industry with so much competition. You so want to get up there and share your soul. And I, by George, I'm going to help you do it. <laughs> I'm going to help you do it. Okay. So that's why I want you to stay close to me because I love you and I believe in you. I see the vision. I know what you want and I want to help you get there. I really do with all my heart and soul. I want to help you get there. So stay close. Go to my website, secrets of a Hollywood talent manager.com and keep us utilizing all the tools I give you. I give you so much free information. People fucking, people want to slap me. I give my so much information away, but uh, I do sell some of it too because it costs me so much time and money and I got to make some money back and pay my bills. And some of the programs that I have and some of the books that I've written have taken me 25 years to learn about and to get into a book. So the fact that I share that to you for $10 and not 2000 is because I'm a nice person. Anyway, I just love you. You know, I do stay in touch, follow your dreams. Don't let anybody interfere with your dreams or goals. And, um, you can do it. You can make this, make anything you want to happen. I know you can, you can. So keep going for it. See ya.